is the difficulty of starting with 3D holding you back from creating some awesome content? Heck, what software to use? Blender or Cinema 4D? Which one is better to start with? It's like choosing between Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Both are good in their own way. Right? Go easy on the Pepsi. Personally, I went through the exact same struggles as everyone else did. Two years ago, I made a video about my first 3D animation, and I encountered a lot of roadblocks along the way, restricting me on my creative process. Our PC definitely crashed, and this was mainly because how com complex and time consuming it is. As a content creator, you're always working with deadlines as tight as pants on Christmas Eve. As tight. You need a software where everything is brought together, a multi-tool. Something like After Effects, the hero we need right now, but maybe don't deserve. I'm Batman. With the latest update, Adobe added a huge new feature which allows us to create 3D right inside After Effects. Now actually it's still in beta, but it's coming quicker than winter in Game of Thrones. Because you can just install the beta if you like. And Jordi happens to be the perfect test subject, as he has no 3D experience at all. He's gonna challenge himself to create a cool video in just one day. And without wasting time, he tackles his first obstacle. Which is most of the time the hardest thing to do for every project, finding an idea. We're outside because I have a great idea in mind. So what I want to do is just jump in the air to hit a 3D box hanging above my head and then coins will come out of it. And eventually we'll see a mushroom as well. But what will happen next? For that, you're going to have to stick around till the end of the video. So Lorenzo is going to walk a little bit around me and I have to do a 3D camera track in After Effects. Luckily, I know how to do that because I know After Effects inside out. It's just Blender or Cinema 4D that I have never opened in my life before. All right, you've got the shot. Now let's go inside to After Effects. Jordi has all the shots that he needs and the 3D tracking is done. So now we can continue, but before before he can do that, he needs something else. The building blocks of the effect, 3D models. And personally, I really suck at modeling. However, I'm learning. Now, of course, we can save a lot of time by simply searching for models online. There are insanely good 3D stock websites all over the internet. So finding a free or paid model is a piece of cake. CGTrader.com is one of those websites. And if you are bombarded with file formats, just pick FBX, OBJ or GPL and you'll be fine. Behold, a sturdy blocks user. Start downloading now on Story Blocks. Yes, yes, give it to me. Give it all to me. I want it all. Yes. <laughs> a huge library with over a million high quality stock assets and 4K resolution. I can just download and try out unlimited of these. I want them all. I want them for me. Give it to me, penguins. You will never get our templates. What? You've got templates? Thousands of them for Premiere and for After Effects. I can just easily swap out my logo in this beautiful template. That is going to save me so much time. Penguin number 12, what is that behind your back? Is that, is that a Premiere Pro plugin from Storyblocks? <gasps> I want it. That means I can access the entire Storyblocks library right inside Premiere. I don't have to leave the editing program. Thus, I'm not distracted by my browser or anything else. Plus, every download goes straight into my project being so much more organized. <laughs> and I can also access music and sound effects as well as images, vectors, and so much more, all from within Premiere Pro. Not our subscriptions. Too late, I already have your subscription. It's set for a fixed price. There are no hidden fees and everything is royalty free. I can now take back creative control with Storyblocks Unlimited royalty free stock library and tools today. You want Storyblocks too? Well, I'll go check out the link in the description down below, guys, or just go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash cinecom. <laughs> Storyblocks, it's mine! Jordi has his 3D models and is feeling pretty confident so far. Now it's just a matter of adding these models inside After Effects. With the new 3D feature, you can simply import the 3D files you downloaded right into After Effects. And from there, they can be dragged inside the composition. But what's this? It seems like the textures 
didn't load. You see, a 3D model can be built in many different ways. And unfortunately, After Effects can't always read that correctly, thus not loading the textures. It will probably be fixed in future updates, but for now we just have to try a bunch of different 3D models until our textures are loaded. I know, welcome to the beta. And now here is where the magic happens. The models have complete freedom, meaning they can be moved, rotated, animated, whatever you want, all in the 3D space. However, there's an aspect that will really make or break this effect. If you don't have this one thing right, everyone will notice how fake your 2D looks. And sadly, not everyone spends enough time on this thing, matching the lights. If you don't match the lights of the objects with that of the scene, the effect will plainly fail. But then, how do we match the lights in After Effects? From the new item menu, we can create a light. There are some different types of light and each one of those will affect your 3D assets differently. Look Look at Jordi go! He already knows how to import his 3D assets and how to light them properly. What a progress! The only thing left for him to do is bring some life in his effect. So of course the 3D elements need to be animated. Every object has their own transform properties which can then be animated. It's that easy. And speaking out of experience, animating in Cinema 4D is way more complicated. So seeing this really blows my mind. As the final touch, Jordi will add some more effects. Motion blur, of course, probably some glows here and there, and now let's see what he created. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, that's the wrong mushroom. <laughs> Colors everywhere. <laughs> that was super cool, Jordy. But guys, nobody is going to like your 3D effect if your camera tracking is bad. So definitely watch this video on my left to learn some unique tips about that. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay creative.